Hey, I'm Rachel Starr. Thought I would give you guys an update on um, my schizophrenia, my ECT treatments, just pretty much everything. Uh, it's, it's been rough. It's been almost like a year and a half since having my electroconvulsive therapy treatments, electroshock treatments. It has been hard. <laughs> um, I was very lucky to have it, and I will have it again if I have to. Got a lot of negative side effects, side effects, but um, that doesn't even come close to how many great things have come of it. Uh, but for those considering it, let me hit the negatives. So, so it is a big decision to make. I'm still in college, and that's definitely it ruined my 4.0. Not by a lot, but I'm like a 3.8 now, 7.8. Who knows? I know. But um. I had a lot of problems with reading and writing. It got to a point where I could only write like using a giant black marker. And it was just something about it like being like I just had to like, see it really big. And um, typing was sometime next to impossible. And it was like I had in my head what I wanted to say, but I couldn't actually like write it. And at other times I would just be like writing, be like, oh yeah, you know, just writing and writing. And then like the next day I would look at it and realize it was gibberish, what I wrote. Sometimes I just plain couldn't read, and it was like, I just, it was almost kind of like a weird dyslexia. Like, my mind would mix up the um, letters so that words would kind of become other things. Anyway, you know, like, it's been almost a year and a half now since getting the treatments, and I've been doing great. I mean, for a while there, I couldn't even you know, hold a job, and this summer I held a part time job. Uh, all summer long working over at a, a minor league baseball stadium. Loved it. Um, I was actually really good at it, which was shocking. <laughs> and I um, was able to halfway through start another part-time job teaching modeling and acting classes, which I've done in the past. Still doing that. And um, yeah, just been doing a lot of side work and actually being able to hold the side work as opposed to before. It was kind of like, you know, two weeks and I was done because it was just like my mind couldn't take it and I just had a hard time with it still in school and my last little bit had to slow down school because of everything like I said not being able to read and write really makes things difficult in college but um, yeah I mean I still can't read a lot I can't read like a book it's kind of overwhelming I can read about a page now um, before it was like a couple sentences and then it was gone but I can handle about a page of text so I always hate I mean I love when people send me um, like emails tell me about their you know, like issues and how the documentaries have helped and I love that but it's really hard sometimes people send me like three page emails and I'm like <laughs> you know because I kind of have to like skim them and it makes me feel bad because I want to give you my full attention but it, it's hard for me to read all of that it's just it's, it's like mentally my brain shuts down and it starts getting confusing but, um, so yeah as far as anything else negatively I mean that was kind of like the biggest things that impacted my life uh, right after the treatments um, Oh yeah, numbers. <laughs> Couldn't remember things like, I mean, people asked me like, what my birth date was, and I was like, uh, give me a minute. You know, where you like really gotta think about your birthday. Telling left from right, that's still gone out the window. Can't do math. I'm getting better at it. I will say that. Simple, okay. I still get a little confused. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um. Yeah, uh, my memory's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> the past couple of years is a blur, um, and that's kind of messed me up a couple times when I actually worked with someone, not realizing I'd already worked with them in the past, and they kind of screwed me in the past. And here I was, you know, entered back into like a working issue with them, with entertainment, and got screwed again. <laughs> it was because I, and I should have known better. I just didn't remember that I'd worked with them two years ago, and they'd done the exact same thing. <laughs> So yeah, kind of shame on me on that one, but I just I had no idea. I remember thinking, this person looks slightly familiar to me, but I couldn't place it. And a lot of times like people ask me, oh, did you see this movie? And I'm like, not really sure, it sounds familiar. Um, yeah, I have no idea. And I watch a lot of movies thinking I haven't seen them, and then like halfway through, like, this is familiar. I can't tell you what's gonna happen in it, but I know I've seen the characters before, so. As far as the good, as you can hear, you know, I'm able to hold jobs now. 
my paranoia still gone. I, I still get a little paranoid at um, like late nights. I'll become a little uneasy, but um, I think it's compared to what it used to be, it's so much better. My OCD, I do get really bad obsessive about some things, but uh, not like it used to be. I'm not like checking doors 50 times before I go to bed at night. Um, and I'm able to sleep, that's awesome. Uh, I am off all of my meds except for I take Prozac. Um, I'm on, I kind of go on and off Prozac just, you know, to kind of keep me stable. Um, I will get like really, really depressed. There's not much when I get into like really depressed state, there's not much I can do about it other than just kind of like sleep, still go psychotic. Luckily most of those are at night, so I'm just, I can kind of tell now when they're coming and when I start to have like manic episodes or things like that. So it's kind of, kind of my defense is get in bed and stay there. I mean with a lot of this, I have a wonderful family who's helped me out, but I keep a lot of it quiet because I mean there's not really much anyone can do. When it gets to a point where I like actually tell my parents, hey, I need you to watch me. And they're supposed to tell me when they see me do weird things. They don't always do that. Uh, I don't know, but I think I'll have the ECT again if I have to. Uh, no hesitation. It, it's been wonderful for me. And this has definitely been a fight coming back from that. And. You know, I mean, the schizo is always going to fight. Anyone who's had schizophrenia, bipolar, any type of mental disorder, depression, anything, you know, it's definitely like a, a fight, you know, and it's, it gets hard just to do simple tasks. I know for a while there was, you know, brushing my teeth was next to impossible because it was like just the mental things that went into brushing your teeth. And that's, it's like if you haven't experienced it, then you really, you can't get it. So, I don't know. But, um, I hope this helps. I know people always write me saying it's so great to see someone who's like not a doctor or like some kind of cheesy doctor video about ECT but someone who's actually been through it willing to tell you about it and I mean it's nothing like the movies <laughs> um, but I had a really great time I had a really great time this history, but I had a really great opportunity to have it and it's worked wonders medication didn't work for me at all the Prozac I really can't tell it works but you know it's good for me to be on it and I finish up with college soon, so, yeah. And everyone's trying to get me to go for my master's. I'm like, no, I need a break. I can't take it. I, you know, I mean, my reading and writing has gotten better, but, you know, it's almost pointless for me to get the books from the school because I'm like, I can't, I can't read this. I can't read chapter one. I, you know, I can't, you know, I just kind of read the, the titles of each section and, you know, I, I'm good that I'm kind of smart with tests, so <laughs> I can figure it out. I got a lot of common sense, and my school's not the hardest. <laughs> yeah, you know, always send me questions. Like, so remember the reading thing? I kind of have struggled. It comes and goes. Sometimes I can read more. Sometimes I, I mean, some days I, I can't uh, even do anything. That's why I like Twitter now. You know, she got 140 characters. I can handle that. I can, I can write that. You know, without screwing it up, and I can read what other people write. <laughs> You know, without screwing that up. So, big fan of Twitter now. Twitter slash Rachel Star Live. Yeah. But um, yeah. If you're out there and you're struggling with this kind of stuff, I feel you and know that you're not alone. And whether you decide to do ECT or something else, just know. I mean, like I said, I went through all the meds. I mean, I was on some experimental crazy stuff. But um, yeah, crazy stuff for crazy people. Know that you're not alone and don't be afraid to you know, try and get help. Yeah. It takes courage to admit you have a you know, problem or that you need help. It takes a lot of courage to admit you need help. And I know it's terrifying and you're afraid of what people think, but you know, if you're going down that road, please, I mean, find help. That's all I can say. All right, thank you. Rachel Star.